In this segment, we're going to create rings around a planet. Uh, to make it quick, what I've done is I've gone ahead and just duplicated this planet and moved it off to the side, scaled it down. Um, so you've got group one here. This is planet, planet one and its lens flare. And then this one is planet two. Okay. And we're going to put... That's planet two, that's small. And we're going to put the, the uh, rings around that planet. So, uh, for now, let's go ahead and shut the other ones off. That's fine. Let's take a look at here. First thing we're going to do, create a new layer. Okay. And then go ahead and we're going to fill this with clouds. So, filter, um, render, clouds. And we can do this a couple times if we want. Render, clouds. So, we get something we like. That sounds good. Now filter, now we're going to distort this and we're actually going to twirl this a couple times. We're going to crank it up to the max. Come on now, crank it up. Zoom out a little bit. Something like that, looks good. Let's do it again. Um, filter, distort, twirl. And this time we'll bring it back a little bit, like so. Okay, not bad. I'm going to hit levels on this quick and make this a little bit brighter. Um, it should have been black and white. There we are. You'll see why in a bit. Okay, so that looks good. Now, I'm going to take my elliptical tool, my, my elliptical marquee. From the center, I'm going to hold down Alt and drag out and create a nice little section here, like something like that. And I might even move it up a little bit. Just so you've got a nice area there. Now we're going to go to Select, Modify, Feather. And we're going to feather this out. We'll, just, we'll say 65 pixels and click OK. Let's go ahead and mask this. You can see we've got a nice little wispy spiral going on. Um, let's go ahead and do that again, though. But this time we're going to cut out where that circle is going to be, where the planet's going to go. So we'll create another ellipse. Say about like so. And we'll say, what's our feather? Modify feather. And we'll make this one, say, half of that. We'll say 35. And we'll just go ahead and um, paint this out here with a big brush. All right, something like that. And Control D or Command D to, dis uh, to deselect. OK, that's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. Um, no, scratch that. We will not duplicate that layer just yet. So let's move this into place. Let's go ahead and move this into place and hit Command T to scale it down. So there you go. It fits around our planet, but it's not, it doesn't look quite right. So let's right click on this and we'll say perspective. So we're going to right click on our selection and say perspective. And the top, we're going to kind of pinch together a little bit. This is the bottoms we're going to drag out. Um, that's good there. Let's right click on it again and say scale. Whoop, not like that though. I need to scale. Scale the other direction. Let's say distort. Let's try free transform. There we are. I basically just want to kind of set this up so it's, yeah. Let's zoom out. 
control or command, I believe control minus. And let's say scale again. I'm going to unclick, whoop, don't do that, control Z. There we are, that's what I want. Just like that. Let's zoom back in. Okay. And perspective, it looks like this might be pinched. It's not. Okay. That looks good. Um, except it still doesn't look quite right. right. So we'll hit enter. That looks good though. Let's go ahead and duplicate this layer again. Well, not duplicate it. I'm really eager on duplicating this layer. Let's go to our planet here and and control click or I believe command click on the Mac our layer. And let's come up to our so we've highlighted our planet. Now let's come up to our back up to our our um, rings. Select our rings. Let's go over to the mask of the rings. Grab our paintbrush tool with, with black, and just since we've got that selection, we can go ahead and just paint that out, right? But what we don't want to paint out, oops, Control Z. We don't want to paint out what's in front of us though. Plus plus, zoom in a little bit more. So there we go. So we've got our rings. Control D. Let's change the layer mode um, to something like, oh, I like that color dodge. That looks really sharp. Look at that. Um, let's duplicate this layer. Command J, I believe. Yeah. And um, we can actually blur it. Well, let's duplicate it a couple times. So we've got three different layers. The second one we just did. Let's go ahead and filter, blur. We're just gonna blur this one a little bit. Uh, oh, helps if I'm on blur, Gaussian blur. All right. Yeah, so that adds a little bit of uh, ambience to that. This top one, let's go ahead and filter Let's render, um, let's add noise to this actually. Noise, add noise to that. Look what that does. That looks pretty sweet. And um, just like before, we're going to select that. Now, with this one selected, we're going to control or command L for levels. We'll bring that, bring that up because we don't need a ton of pixels, but we just want, we want a little bit because we've got some particles there right just something like that that looks pretty sweet and then click OK now with this with this layer this top layer with the particles we, we need to do what we did before we need to make sure our layer is selected go to channels first off make sure that only your main scene is is visible there we go select. Let's try that again. So we've got that layer selected. That's the only layer visible. And we're going to go to channels. There we go. Layers. New layer. Uh, and delete. Outer glow. Let's see what that looks like. All right. Maybe something like that with a soft light. 
but we still have this hard line here and that's coming from right there so let's Let's go ahead and control D. Let's do another selection here. It kind of matches it. And we're going to mask this. Whoops. Oh, Create a new mask. There we go. Now with our selection tool, let's alt drag out. Now, what I'm going to do is let's use the gradient. And do it the other way. Select inverse. And we are just going to oops, paint that out. Just like that. Control D. But that's a hard line there, so let's go ahead and take our paintbrush tool. Hardness, zero, softness. Okay. And then we'll switch it. All right. Let's drop the opacity back. So just like that, we now have two planets, and one planet has rings. Oh, we definitely need those, those back on. And this one, probably drop its opacity down a little bit. It adds a little bit of haze into our planets. That's kind of nice. And then we can probably bring that. There we go. It's all about stacking. If we bring our highlights above our haze, that makes our highlights pop over here a bit more. So there you go. That's how you make rings.